Do you cruise through your day on autopilot, running from task to task without even pausing to think? Maybe things turn out great and sometimes they don't, but why is that? Believe it or not, our brain is actually making sense of our world. In fact, have you noticed how you consciously focus selectively on what's going on around you and filter the rest? In this video, I'll be talking about how what gets through that filter is influenced by our priorities and assumptions we carry into our day. And in turn, that opens the door for opportunity or challenges. So if we haven't met, I'm Ava and I help women supercharge sassy self-confidence so that the inner flame of becoming brave and beautiful again shines brightly into their world. Thank you for joining me today. So with 10 minutes of mental preparation and a reset of your priorities and assumptions, you can shift the way you experience your day, turning any situation into positive and enjoyable and boost your self confidence. And that begins with being more intentional about how you approach the day. Because the point is, we can miss a huge opportunity if we simply let the day just happen to us. Now I know that we will never be able to control everything, but we can be deliberate with the filters we set. So here's a routine for you to think about when consciously setting intentions. Number one is to pay attention to your priorities. Number two is to pay attention to your concerns. And number three is to pay attention to your mood that you are carrying into the day. So what is your aim for today? Who will you meet? What work will you do? What matters most to you to make is a success which takes me to what is your attitude pause for a moment and notice what's dominating your thoughts or mood are these concerns helping you achieve your aim today if not can you set it aside now where do you want to focus your attention what do you need to see more of then start looking for it. Take some time to practice these tactics before you step into your next task. So yes, what really matters to me is to help women unlock that self-confidence that's within them by encouraging them to recognize their uniqueness so that they begin to start feeling confident and start acting brave and beautiful again. Now I admit I might feel overwhelmed or nervous when I hear this struggle, but I can decide to set aside my state of mind in favor of focusing on the real priority and that's to make women feel beautiful about their self-worth, feel comfortable from the inside out and self-confident again. So I want to spot opportunities to help women recognize their self-worth so that they uncover their strengths and become the person they love most before anyone else can. And that means I want to look for chances to inject positivity and encouragement into their journey. So in a few minutes, I have set positive intentions by focusing my filters on the type of day I want. I'm excited already and that means checking and challenging any negative assumptions I am carrying into my day. What it means is we need to notice whenever we feel strongly attached to a negative expectation about something or someone and recognize that this attachment may cause us to filter any conflicting evidence. So by checking and challenging in the long run, you become more self-aware and open to absorbing new information. Like not using language that is absolute. 
such as I'll never be confident or nothing I do makes me feel confident. So here's where you can pause and check your perspective. What negative assumptions do I have about what I am doing? What am I likely to focus on to confirm this assumption? So if I had to challenge this negative assumption, what would I say? What counter evidence can I notice to help me stay open-minded? So if I was having a bad day and nothing was going right and I felt submerged by problems coming to me from every direction, so I believe that I cannot stand up in front of a room with strangers and give a motivational talk. Yes, it can be overwhelming and I might not be liked by everyone, but I can think about the amazing opportunities of meeting like-minded people who share similar interests and the chance to network and build some amazing new friendships. Then I can choose to notice what works well right now in this moment and look for ways to walk up confidently onto the stage. So with that simple elevation in being open-minded, implementation of positive uh, intentions becomes far easier, even when things might not be going to plan. So lastly, let's manage getting out of the habits that we fall into of managing ill intent. You can start by doing this with reflecting on your day, what went well, what didn't, why, and what could I have seen coming. Then we can look ahead to tomorrow and think about what we want from tomorrow and what deserves most of our attention and is most important. So for example, you can think ahead to the most demanding task you might encounter tomorrow and the things you least enjoy doing. That way you don't pay a lot of attention to negative assumptions. So when you feel like your confidence is sliding and you just wanna crawl under a rock and hide, step back, close your eyes and breathe. Walk away and pull yourself together and pause. Then tell yourself, it's time to rethink. You could pray a few words and then refocus and then quickly ask yourself what matters most about building my self-confidence today? What does that mean my priority should be? What concerns are dominating my thoughts or mood? Do they help me with my priority? If not, I can set them aside. What negative assumptions do I have going into today? How can I challenge those expectations? And then what counter evidence can I seek? So my real aim is to build my self-confidence in conversations and situations. Where should I direct my attention? What should I notice in particular? So these are all great questions that you can go back and ask yourself. So great, you have just chosen to filter your intentions for today. And you did that on purpose. So let's continue this conversation. Chat over coffee, call me, and I'll give you my undivided attention. Thank you again for joining me today. I'm sending you lots of motivation to help you keep building your self-confidence. See you soon.